Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the dollar versus Canada. Today's date is October 16th, 2023. Looking at the four-hour chart, there's some uh, technical levels in play here. Uh, I, I go back to this uh, swing area through here, uh, which comes between 1.3599, let's call it 1.36 and 1.36. 1, 2, 5. There's a number of different uh, swing lows and swing highs that were developed all through this period right through here. Uh, and uh, we broke above it here, uh, extending to the high. We also broke above it here as well on the way back to the downside in trading last week. We did uh, uh, move below that area uh, and uh, tried to hold below this uh, swing area, but uh, we did get some moves to the upside. And then toward the end of the week, we moved higher uh, before retracing down to the downside. Now, what was important in trading last week is also that the low prices uh, through here found support against its 200 uh, bar moving average on this four hour chart. And if you go back in time and you look at it uh, over through here, we had resistance against that level before moving above and finding support against it. So the last uh, number of times that the price has moved toward that 200 bar moving average, we found found support or resistance uh, buyers or sellers. And uh, so on the downside here today, uh, or go today and going forward, uh, we're gonna be paying attention to uh, not only that moving average, but also the 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart, which currently comes in at 1.3597. The 200 bar moving average is at 1.35, looks like 7.6 currently at the moment. Also near that area is a 50% retracement of the move up from this last low. Uh, going back a few weeks uh, a few weeks ago to the mid-September period right through here. Uh, made it sort of a mess of that to the move out to the upside that we saw not last week but the week before. So uh, this area right through here with the 100 and 200 bar moving average is going to be our key uh, support target to have for the uh, dollar versus Canada on the downside. Also this uh, swing area uh, coming into play as you can see. Um, as well uh the 38.2 percent retracement or the broken 38.2 we're trading above and below it over the last two bars uh, on this uh, four hour chart get back above it at 136.29 and we could see uh, more momentum or we look for more momentum to the upside on the top side we look for this uh, swing area between 136.69 and 136.799 let's call it 80 on the top side is a target above the uh, 29 level so plenty of room to go uh, to the upside out if we're able to get and stay above the 136.29 level so uh, there you have it a look at the uh, dollar versus canada my name is greg michalowski good fortune with your trading bye bye now